Hello everyone, this is ALX and welcome to my second LEGO Minecraft World update here on my channel. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you've already been through what I've done so far. And really quickly here to my right, uh, to the nether, desert and jungle biomes, I haven't done any changes uh, from my previous update. If you want to check them out, uh, you can see it here on my playlist or on my channel. And I talk uh, about the changes I made to the nether especially from my first design. And so far I haven't changed anything uh, from my last uh, update. And I'm thinking of getting the last uh, Lego official set for the nether. Just to add the, uh, well update the mobs like the zombie pigmen to the piglings. And also because of the pieces that look quite interesting for other projects. I said I wasn't getting any more uh, Lego Minecraft, but that said, uh, I'm still thinking about getting it or not. So yeah, let's go here to the right where all the changes uh, were happening from my last uh, update. And well, in general for the plains and the forest, I made quite a few changes that might not look uh, very relevant. But, for example, before I had my five uh, trees uh, clustered here to the right to make the forest look. And uh, it, it looked well and all, but I thought that having an extra tree, well, taking one from the right and putting it on the left, made a nice counterweight to the, uh, to the look, to the scene. And it also framed it quite nicely. So I moved that around and also the flowers and mobs like the bees and the cows and the sheep. Uh, I've been experimenting quite a lot and taking pictures throughout the process uh, to have the best scene and make it look just uh, as an in-game thing. So yeah, it has been a lot of experimentation and for now I'm very happy with uh, this scene I've came up with. I might change a few things in the future but for now it looks good. So yeah, for the structure now, that's where the most of the time went uh, on my last update. Uh, for example, before I had the uh, pen for the animals here to the right uh, and to the left I had the farm with the minecart running through the middle. And uh, I got rid of that and brought the farm here and integrated it to the terrain. And I think it looks much better. Uh, I gave it a uh, look like it was a um, village created thing, in-game created thing. And I also think a dash of blue in between all the uh, green looks great. Instead of having it cornered right there on the left. And that also, all these changes made me save on pieces. For example, these green plates that I have here, all this was saved from making those changes. Uh, those could be used for my future projects, like in my city for parks and that uh, green space that I might be using. And also saving on the rails, which have uh, also nice pieces that I can use on the mine system uh, that will be here on the on the right, I mean on the left. Uh, yeah, and just saving pieces, that's good. Uh, so, uh, that's for the front of it, uh, and I, I added a little bit of detail here on the pen, on the animal pen, some hay bale right there, and a cauldron that will have some water for the animals. I mean, they don't need it, not even in game, but it looks good just to add detail. And right here, I'm keeping the, the terrace, the wooden terrace that I was thinking of, uh, of having here on my player made structure and underneath I will have a forging station chests and uh, maybe the brewing stand uh, inside the structure the, the stone one and this is all uh, work in progress and some of hope oh, sorry uh, things aren't clutched quite well for example this is just uh, staying uh, very delicately over there I need to fence off this detail over here and uh, I added some detail, for example, the ends with the, the trunks uh, for the structure with some buttons on the ends. A typical thing you can see in Minecraft uh, builds. And I still have to add the last one, for example, right here that goes right there to finish it off. And those kind of things. So there's the small details that 
make it look more Minecraft, I think. Not uh, leave it uh, so plain at the end. And for example, the shrubbery that I added here, uh, also a typical thing you see in Minecraft builds is people adding uh, greenery to their structures. So I, I cannibalized from one of the trees. I will later bring the, the pieces from the, from the jungle that I have there that are not doing much. And um, I will be putting them right there and returning those pieces to the tree. And I added the top of the, uh, what they're called, the, oh, I forgot, <laughs> the crafting table, that's it. The tops of the crafting tables to make it look like trap doors to add this, uh, this um, nice shrubbery balcony that I have here. And uh, yeah, so for the main structure, the stone one, uh, I was inspired by my first uh, Minecraft set which was the first night and uh, many of the pieces came from there especially the brick ones the ones that have the brick texture and I'm very happy with this result uh, it's just uh, maybe it looks a little too uh, vertical I mean too striped in the vertical way uh, I'm thinking of changing a few things uh, to the facade to kind of break that verticality uh, but mainly this will be the overall shape, size and design. Just a few tweaks that I will make later on. Now that I have everything set up here. And I'm keeping my slanted roof. I've been wanting to have it since the beginning. And this is not what it will be at the end. It's just uh, a mock-up to have a reference for height and overall shape. And um, yeah, just another added detail that I will have is this stair that will be here right on the corner and I think it frames the building quite nicely and this stair will be going this way and I will have a door over here to enter the structure that will be the main entrance to the um, to the base other than the gate over here so yeah this is the look of it and I'm so pleased on how it looks and for the next update, I will be finishing off the base. Actually, now that I see it right uh, straight forward to it, it looks very nice. And uh, yeah, but still need to work on it. And well, I still have to do all the uh, cave system to the to the left, uh, the cave, the mountain side that will separate the uh, the plains from the cave system and all the cave and mine inside. And yeah, just a little extra, I finally built another one of these big pigs, in this case the skeleton, uh, with the magma cube here on the, on the left. And now I have two of them. I still need to build the other two, which is Alex and the Creeper. And like I said before, I might be adding them right here on the top with a nice acrylic display just to finish off uh, the overall exhibition of my Minecraft world. But I will see if that doesn't look too cluttered. But yeah, I already did another one of those. Maybe in the next update I will show that I I have another one uh, already built. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this video. If you have any comments about what I'm doing here, just go ahead and write something in the comment section and like if you liked. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.